So Kieran, it was it was defeat unfortunately last time out against Dundalk. What were your own views on, on the game and how it went? Yeah, obviously it wasn't the, the result we wanted, but um looking the back looking back on the game we can't really complain. Our work rate wasn't there and when that's not there like our quality won't show either. So the first thing we can do, the bare minimum we can give is his work rate and that wasn't there and that, and that showed and obviously we came away with defeat which which we don't want like. And is it, is it a mentality thing that we're, that we're losing this lead? Obviously, there's been a number of occasions where we have had a lead in, in a game and let it slip. Is it mentality? Is it physicality? What, what do you think is the reason that um, sometimes these, these leads are getting away from us? I don't know, really. I feel like, obviously, we're getting ahead in games and teams are, are pushing, pushing onto us and we're kind of dropping deep, I think, a bit too much at times. I think we have to stay higher as a team and we need to put in that work rate again. Not just from the back, like it's not just the defence, and he's coming out from the top and then like a wave down. So I think we just need to focus on that more so and, and really put in the work. Um, there was times last year where you were obviously in and out of the squad and fighting for your place. Injury played a part in that, but you've had a pretty extended run in the first team now. How are you enjoying playing such frequent football? Yeah, it's great. Like playing week in week out, we can really you find your form. And like you said, it was a bit stop and start when I when I first came here, but I finally found my feet and. Finally got a, got a goal for myself, so I was delighted with that. But hopefully, there's more to come for myself and performances and and goals as well. Yeah, the goal I'm sure was a high point in the game. Are you going to be looking to add more as the season goes by? Yeah, definitely. Like I've been here three years now, and I've only got one goal, so I definitely want to add a few more to that. Um, previous goals have been out. I've, I've scored a few goals, so I think hopefully the floodgates will open now, and I've got after got after getting the first one, so. Yeah, like you say, you've been here for three years now, and though you might not be the oldest in a general footballing sense, you are one of the older ones at Bohemians. Do you feel any kind of a, an extra responsibility to show a bit of leadership to the younger players? Yeah, definitely. Like I've been here three years, so I'm confident and talking and with everyone around me. Like you said, like it's a young team, so I know everyone has a voice, but maybe some are a bit, a bit shyer to, to speak up. So. I feel like I can help the youngest players come on in that case as well. And then the attention obviously turns to, to Friday night back in Daily Mountain against Sligo, who are a team in a very similar position and also showing kind of similar form. So it's going to be a very important match on Friday. Yeah, again, it'll be a, it'll be a tough game. It was tough up there. You know, uh, we know we can beat them. We've, we've beat them already. So we're going into it with confidence. But like I said, if the minimum we can give is work rate, the quality will show after that. And look, looking at the ball game, if you don't give the work rate, we're not going to get the results. So. That'll be the first thing we're looking at. Yeah, and looking ahead, it's, it's back to the, the occurrence of the Monday games at Pats and Inchcore, so recovery is going to be of paramount importance, particularly over the weekend, with another big game straight afterwards. Yeah, that's, that's no, no problem to us. Like We're always in the day after recovering, recovering well, sleeping well, eating well, so that's, that's, that's no problem to us. And uh, you yourself, you're, you're a Liverpool fan, and you must be happy with how the season's going. It's not over yet, and there's still an opportunity. How have you, have you seen their season go, go by so far? Yeah, so we're really being a Liverpool fan. Obviously, we've we've been through the stuff that United are going through right now. But being a Liverpool fan, moment going for a quadruple, it's brilliant. But you're looking at you're looking at those players like high quality. But like I said, from the Dunk ball game and stuff like they're putting in work from up to top, and it's going right down to the black. And that's how you, that's how you win titles. That's how you win trophies. So we just have to look at that and take the attitude from them. And how many do you think they're going to end up with? Two, three, or four trophies at the end of the season? Well, they already have two at the moment, and they're not too far away from. Premier League, so hopefully they can get get that one, but that's slightly harder to say. But hopefully we can get the three with the Champions League. Yeah. Best of luck with the game on Friday, girl. Cheers. Thanks very much.